Take a look at this gorgeous concoction of meat and cheese, lettuce, tomato on a hero roll. Elbows at 10 and 2 when you eat. I just want to be alone with me and my sandwich. It's that good. Hi, my name is Mr. Fantastic, Chef Jamoke Jackson, former chef for J. Cole, Lady Gaga, and Gail King. And today I'm going to be making a New York style chopped cheese sandwich. This is something that I would make for Lady Gaga and crew all the time on tour. We all know that Lady Gaga is a New Yorker, and so whether we were traveling in London or Tokyo, this was one of those dishes that gave her and crew a little taste of home. It all starts with the bread, and that is a hero roll. Now you might call it different things where you're from, but in New York, it's called a hero roll. Why? Because it comes to the rescue for all of your sandwich needs. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna slit this open. So we're not gonna cut it all the way through because we wanna load this sandwich up so that you can eat it like this. All right, let's add our butter in to a heated skillet. The more butter, the better. More butter, more fat, more flavor. Now, I'm gonna take it, I'm just gonna press it down here, and you don't need to bother with it. Just let it work. Let it toast, let it brown. Give it about three, four minutes. Working for Lady Gaga was probably one of the most exciting experiences that I've ever had. I got to travel around the world. I got to see all parts of the world from Tokyo to Australia to Poland. It was a full on life experience. It's something that I'll never forget from sourcing ingredients in uh, Amsterdam to having to figure out uh, language translations in Tokyo. Uh, it was really an experience that I'll never forget from a chef standpoint and from a cultural standpoint. I'm gonna turn this bun around a little bit just so we get a nice kind of even toast. So let's take a peek and see what we got. Nice. We've got our bread nice and toasted. We're gonna start with our lettuce. I like to take the lettuce, cut it right down the middle. Makes it easy to cut and manage. I turn it on its side and to get a nice chop, we always wanna grip down, make sure that we're not cutting our fingers. Get a nice shred on it, turn it back. And honestly, that's all you need. You can use the rest for a salad. So I like to use a serrated knife for my tomatoes. It makes for a nice clean cutting. And the serrated knife gives a nice, fluid, simple cuts to the tomato. Take about half of a tomato. That should fill up one sandwich. This is so therapeutic. Lastly, we're gonna cut up our onion, which is gonna be cooked with our meat. Take the end off the top part, and we wanna keep the bottom intact because we are going to be dicing this onion. So we either, if you're doing half, you can definitely cut it down the middle, but keep that core part on. It's gonna make it easy for our dicing. I'm gonna run my knife along the back and pull off the outer skin before I start to dice. I remember the first time I met Lady Gaga. She's so humble uh, and she is so friendly. Like I really, I was kind of nervous to meet her. I don't get nervous meeting celebrities very often, but she was one of those people that, you know, you kind of love the music and you really, <laughs> you wanted to be uh, as cool as possible when you met her. Uh, she was very gracious. She greeted me with a hug, which is, uh, wonderful uh, and then she was uh, she was very talkative she you know asked where I was from what I like to do why I was a chef she asked me all these things and we probably talked for a good 10-15 minutes when I first met her now that we've prepped our vegetables we're gonna move over to the star of the show the meat first we're gonna preheat our pan and then add our butter in then we're going to form our meat into kind of like a dome shape we're gonna season it generously with salt and pepper. We're gonna put it in. We're gonna press it down to get a nice crisp bottom to our meat. I remember one time we were in Amsterdam, one of my favorite places that we went on the tour, and we had a shortage. We would ship in ingredients that we needed sometimes. And this particular day, we didn't have everything that we needed. So it was a scavenger hunt. And this was before you could simply order things on a cell phone. So we probably spent a good couple of hours scrambling around, much like we were in a competition, 
to get food to get back in time because we had an early show that day. I happened to finish everything kind of right on time. Gaga got her food, which was probably about 10 minutes late, but it was still on time. Uh, and we, they proceeded to have, I think, one of the better shows that they've ever had. It was a, it was, and this was right around Thanksgiving, so we're kind of ending the year uh, because we took a nice little break around the holidays. It was one of my most memorable and challenging experiences as a chef. I often call chefs problem solvers, and to solve that problem and to keep the tour running is one of my favorite experiences. So next, we're gonna flip the meat over. We're gonna dump the onions in and we're going to start chopping. This is one of the most fun parts, the chopping. This absolutely comes together very fast. One of the things you don't wanna do is overcook the meat. This is why I actually use butter because I wanna keep it nice and rich, full of fat. And I like to go until it's just starting to be completely brown. A little drop of pink in it is totally fine. But you bring your onions together until they're translucent, give it three or four minutes, uh, and then you're done and ready to add the cheese. Also often on tour after the show, they would have these kind of meetups. This is where the band and the back of the house got to kind of mingle together. The only times that they kind of interacted the most was either after the show or when they were eating. So this was like a great opportunity for everybody to kind of come together. You either have your favorite people that you hang out with. Gaga would also join, come to the after parties when she had the energies. We'd go all over to different places. This is where the kind of red carpet treatment would come out because all you had to say was you were part of the Monster Bar Tour and you would get kind of the VIP treatment. It was a very fun experience. You got to see a lot of kind of local spots or even spots that I think the local people didn't have access to because they would set it up special for her and the crew. So now it's time to add the cheese and get the melty magic going. I'm gonna add the cheese right on top, turn the heat off and let it melt down. Then we're gonna add it to our hero roll. So first we're gonna add our mayo. We're going to slather both sides of the hero roll. After that, we're gonna add our ketchup, same way on both sides. After our ketchup, we are going to add in our meat with our cheese. Then we're gonna add our lettuce. Finally, we're gonna to top it with our tomatoes. As we wrap up, one of the things that I love so much about the tour was just kind of the access that it gave me. I remember uh, having this pass that I would flash in front of all the security people and uh, just be able to watch the tour after a long day of cooking. Um, I saw the tour everywhere. I saw it expand. I saw the set go from 45 minutes to over an hour and a half. It was kind of one of the most magical things ever from a concert standpoint. And having an appreciation for music and food, this was an all-encompassing event and I loved it. This thing is huge. I can't eat it all, so I'm gonna cut off a little piece to enjoy now. Take a look at this gorgeous concoction of meat and cheese, lettuce, tomato on a hero roll. Elbows at 10 and two when you eat. I just wanna be alone with me and my sandwich. It's that good. The cheese, the meat, everything is perfect, perfectly balanced. The sauce complements it well, I'm happy. And you could see why after being on Lady Gaga's tour, the Monster Ball tour, after months of traveling, to have this dish, meat, cheese, the quintessential New York dish, how this is the perfect taste of home. I love this sandwich. I really hope you guys give this a shot at home. It's a super simple sandwich to make. You can find recipes like this and others at delish.com. You can find me at Mr. Foodtastic on all social media. I hope to catch you in the kitchen again soon.